all right just like that it's done the trap is set um now all we need is a bobcat <laughs> of the bobcat when he came through um, a couple weeks ago and a couple of those images he walked out of the frame or well excuse me he's in the frame but he walked further away from the camera and I could see where he went up to a tree and smelled the tree well I checked the tree and it is actually a scent marking tree so I'm crossing my fingers that the next time he comes back through um, he's gonna come to this spot and check that scent marking tree again. So, uh, I pulled the camera trap, like I said, a couple days ago and did some modifications. I made a ground setup uh, instead of having a hook to a tree and also attached the sensor to the same piece. Uh, that way I don't have any false triggers. Only when something walks directly in front of it will it fire. So, we're gonna set it up and hopefully, uh, like, hopefully we get the bobcat, but like I said, it's gonna be a long haul. I'm, I'm leaving it here for a long time. Um, I'll be back through to check batteries uh, and memory cards maybe every couple of weeks, but this is going to be a very long term project. So uh, we'll uh, cross our fingers and hope we get him. Uh, like I said, well, this is going to be very, very unique. And the shot that I have in my mind, if I could get that, oh man telling you it's gonna be awesome so cross our fingers and done a lot of homework um, done a lot of actual work and now it's just just finished setting it up and patiently wait cross our fingers and hope lady luck is on our side so let's get to work get it up and get out of here maybe tonight he'll be here Today is October 22nd, 2018. Um, it's an important day to remember, uh, just for two reasons. Number one, when I woke up this morning, we had our first frost of the fall, of the new season. So uh, that's number one, that's kind of exciting for me. Uh, number two, uh, which is the other exciting part, is that I'm finally gonna start trying to get this bobcat on a, tra on a camera trap. Uh, the location that I have found the cat has uh, has ferns that grow each spring and each summer and um, they grow really high so the cat can come right in never see it uh, even though I could have the camera right beside him you never see the cat the ferns are so tall so um, with the first frost uh, hopefully that means the ferns are starting to die and I came into the location and of course they are starting to die so I'm um, going to set this camera trap up for those of you that have been following along you know this has been like a five year project for me I've been trying to find uh, a bobcat uh, and get him on a camera trap for the last few years five years as a matter of fact and I finally located a cat uh, back in this um, this past winter so in February and uh, it took him 50 days to come back to the area and he came to the camera trap, but I only got half of his body. He came from a different area I wasn't expecting him to come from. So I didn't quite get the shot I was after. And I only got the one shot. And uh, before he came back through, the ferns were so tall that I was ne never able uh, to get another shot. So uh, I've had to patiently wait until fall, and we are here. And I am here uh, late this afternoon to set the camera trap up. I vlogged all probably 50 pounds worth of gear into the woods to try to get this picture of this elusive bobcat and you know i've been after this guy for so long and i don't even know if it's gonna come true but hopefully it will but um this is gonna be i'm kind of gonna try to be a little bit more um uh informative with my camera trapping stuff this year and uh show you kind of step by step of everything and uh, show you the location so this is what we have we have this tree uh, that's kind of leaning as you see the roots are kind of coming up a little bit this is all the gear I brought in 
Uh, but last fall, I set my camera trap up over here to catch this trail right here. And on that trail, I uh, got lots of bobcats, uh, or excuse me, lots of raccoons, and one bobcat. And uh, the trail camera um, caught the bobcat walking over to the tree that I'm standing under. So this one here, down here at the bottom, uh, he came and he sent Mark. Well, what I thought he sent Mark. So when I checked my trail camera, I got excited. I came to this tree uh, and uh, I had to use my nose. So I sniffed the tree uh, all the way around and uh, found that he was actually scent marking the tree. So I knew a uh, very good chance if he ever came back through the area, he should come back to this tree and scent mark again. Or if another cat comes by, their noses are really sharp. If another cat comes by, it could smell it and then come scent mark on top of it. So. Um, that was the idea that was the plan and it and it worked uh the cat did come back like i said it took 50 days for him to come back um but he did come back i just didn't get the image so uh kind of a quick recap again this is the tree and so camera placement's gonna be kind of out right here and i really want the bobcat to come up and either sniff the tree to get an image uh, which would be great if I could get all of it. Sniff the tree, turn around, and spray the tree. That's the goal. That's the image I want is a bobcat spraying, scent marking this tree. And the composition works actually quite nice. You have a nice leading line here. Leading lines pointing in. Uh, so it should, in theory, be a really nice image. All right, just like that, it's done. The trap is set. Um, now all we need is a bobcat. So I got my lights the way I want them. Composition's pretty dang close to what I want. Now we just need the subject. So uh, just a quick look of what we got. So we have uh, the camera. We have the main light. Uh, we have just the Nikon SB28 set up in here. Sensors on the ground uh, shooting up so only whatever walks in between the tree and the sensor will fire. Uh, so we have a Nikon SB28 set up in here. The zoom, because uh, it's uh, maybe 8 feet away. Maybe closer to 10 feet away. So I have the zoom on the flash set to 105. That way uh, I don't have to use as much power. And just it, the light's concentrated to one spot. Uh, so that's my main light. And then around on this side... We have the backlight, so this one is just shooting uh, straight down, so it will provide a key light or a highlight around the back side of the cat. Um, just when he comes up, whether he faces forward or if he backs up to the tree, there'll be some separation between it and the background. But that's pretty much it. Um, fairly simple. Um, well, for camera trap speaking, it's fairly simple. <laughs> Uh, for most wildlife photographers, it's probably a little too much. Uh, but uh, also, too, it, this is on a main trail. Um, I hope I don't regret not putting it on this trail. Uh, so we'll see. I do have a quick uh, a browning uh, trail camera over here that records audio uh, and video, high quality video. It's infrared. So if the camera trap misses anything, hopefully this will let me know if it did miss anything. Uh, and then also, too, it's set up right up on the trail. So if something uses the trail but doesn't come to the tree, I'll know um, if I need to readjust the next time I come. But the trail is very heavily used. And to give you an idea of where I'm at, too, uh, we're in a little channel. There's a swamp to my right, and there's nothing behind me. So this is like the end of this block. So there's um, probably a mile uh, straight back to the next block of woods uh, but this does go back behind me this way uh, and can connect and it's maybe a half a mile across the highway to the next block but there's a big woods uh, that's straight in front of me so they use this as a corridor uh, if they're coming from one block to this one they're going to walk right through here that being deer coyotes um, uh, hopefully the bobcat uh, in this area known for sure lots of raccoons lots of possums lots of squirrels which is good and uh, lots of rabbits so they feed on those and then also too uh, the edge of the swamp there are some beaver nutria muskrats so uh, bobcats love to hunt those things so uh, 
prime location. Like I said, we know he's here. Got the scent marking tree. Just need the cat. So <sighs> the waiting game begins again. We'll check back with you when I come and check it next. Uh, I'll probably check it in one week intervals since it's kind of close to the house. Um, and lots of raccoons and possums walk through the area, so it, I'm sure it'll um, trigger and kind of fill up my memory card. So I'll be checking it on a weekly basis. The battery should last anywhere from two to four weeks. So um, I'll come in and check uh, battery levels on everything when I come in. So stick along, I hope you enjoy, and who knows, cross her fingers, just maybe get the bobcat, that elusive bobcat image that I'm after. So thanks for tagging along, and maybe we can get him. All this is for one image. I keep asking myself, why do I do this? <laughs> one image, that's all I'm after of a bobcat. Four years in the making, and this keeps happening.